How long has it been going on? About a month. So you let Bex and Preston get together and the whole time you were sleeping with him? It wasn't like that. You have to believe me, Martin. I tried to stop it. They slept together about a month ago. Oh. You waited till now to tell me. I thought I could sort it. Yeah, you did a good job of that. Yeah. How serious was it? Answer me, Michelle. Look, I didn't ask him to come here, did I? Oh, right, yeah, of course, it's his fault now, yeah. I never said that. Were you two... Well, they were. <laughs> when did it start with you and him? Do we have to do this now? I think I've got a right to ask, don't you? About a year ago. That's why Tim kicked you out, I suppose. And the school. I've lost everything. I love him, Martin. I hate myself for it. So, so it's all right then for a 47-year-old woman to sleep with a 17-year-old boy. That's okay with you, that. I am not the person who have slept with someone young enough to be my grandkid. Who started it? You or Preston? It's not important. I want to know. He pursued me. And you just, you just dropped your knickers at the first opportunity. <sighs> Were you drunk or something? No, no. I've only had a glass of wine. <laughs> I've got a middle-aged woman chasing after a teenage boy. Well, you make it sound sordid. Well, you're his tutor! What I felt... What, what we felt for each other, it was real. Oh, God, can you even hear yourself? You sound like a lovesick teenager. I am embarrassed to be your brother. Don't go anywhere near my family. Please don't be like this. You've lost everything! Where's Preston? He's gone. So now we've both lost him. Where is he? Don't even speak to me. You see what you've done? Don't you dare talk to him like that! Just tell me where Preston is. Are you drunk? You're pathetic, you know that. You're old enough to be his gran. I don't have to defend myself to you. Just tell me! I saw him heading towards the tube. What are you doing? Michelle! Michelle! Michelle, wait! Just come 